Hey, what's up? I'm back. It's TT, TT Toy, making another video. I don't even know what I want to talk about. <laughs> so, I guess I'll uh, have the topic of the video after I get through talking. It's been slow in my business, but my bills are still taken care of. I'm still eating healthily. Like, I'm grateful. I'm not complaining, know that. But I just think about how I used to be in the past when things would be really, really slow and I would worry a lot. It's a freedom in not thinking that way no more to me because yeah, I really literally been off. In the past month, I may have had six clients, may have had six clients in the past month. And I'm grateful for that support. And I'm aware of what's going on in the world and everybody's finances has somehow been affected. And we are just getting back in the flow of things. So, I'm okay with that. But I'm just grateful not to worry about how I'm going to take care of myself. Because, like, I don't have somebody that I can call and be like, uh, I probably do have a couple of people if I really, 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 really needed something that I could call. I'm sure. I know for sure one. Um. But everybody sometimes don't have it to bail me out. And I just I always like to do things for myself. I always talk about how... In, in previous videos, I talked about how I had pride issues. And I don't like to ask for things. I just like to get it on my own. And I still, a lot of the times, have that way. So it's not easy for me to ask for help from people because... In the past, I had people, like, hold it over my head or throw it in my face. And that doesn't that doesn't make me feel comfortable. And so I don't put myself in a predicament to ask people for stuff. But it's okay. I know now that it is okay to ask for help. It is okay to ask for help. That's like a form of surrendering. Uh, yeah, so since it's been slow, I really haven't even been being too productive. There's so many things I could be doing. I could be making wigs. I could be making jewelry. I could be doing a lot of things that's very productive. Going outside, networking, uh... But what I've been choosing to do and make myself feel, give give myself permission, permission to do is to be okay with resting. I got to put my Carmex on. This is throwback. Um, I'm just letting myself feel okay with resting. There's nothing wrong with resting. There's nothing. Our body needs rest. And I've been going through a lot of a major transformations in my life in the past few months. And I feel like those transformations is requiring me to get some rest. That's why God's sitting me down. That's why God making the business my business. I feel like that's why everything's slowing down because... God wants our eyes open to see and pay attention. And when we wasn't going to work, when we, when we had no choice, we had no choice but to see, pay attention more. But I'm actually looking forward to everybody just going back to work. I wish everybody just, I don't know have so many different 
thoughts and like just ideas about like COVID and this government attached to COVID and mind controlling and population controlling and just so much. Sometimes I just, I ain't gonna lie, I just try to be in a different world that's kind of more imaginative with unicorns and butterflies and stuff away from the stuff I really see that's going on because for one when you try I feel like when you try to speak about it with people or um everybody don't be seeing what you see and that's okay so I just don't even really be talking about it but it is refreshing when I meet someone or encounter someone who who Oh, see stuff too. Look, I know this is a bunch of random talk. I just got on here to say that I'm happy that my mind frame and my spiritual and emotional uh, essence is improving. And it feels so good to see yourself improving. Feels amazing. My life 20 years ago, I was so depressed. I wouldn't even go to the grocery store on my own. I wouldn't even leave my home. Now nah, that wasn't 20 years ago. That was like 15 years ago. It's like 15 years ago. But the point being. I was in a low place, spiritually and emotionally, and my mental was just, ooh, taking all kind of medicines, not knowing which way I'm going or coming, no control over my moods, fear emotions being just paralyzed with fear, depression post-traumatic stress anxiety all kind of mental health problems but and I just say that I'm proud of myself for fighting and never ever ever giving up falling standing still slow down but never stopping I'm so proud of myself and I'm so proud of the growth I see in myself and it's been so hard it's been literally blood sweat and tears man and just when you think you over a hump, here come another hump. It's levels. Best believe it. But I just want to keep going. I just want to uh, discover, embrace, shine out everything about me and live a life of peace, love, healing, whatever I can assist doing in the world. That's how I feel. And I'm going to be okay, okay. I know I'm probably off topic, but with what I'm about to say. But like earlier, as I was speaking on not having clients for a minute, I'm okay with that. I'm not asking for charity from nobody. I'm, excuse me. I know I'm a money magnet and money just attracts to me, period. So I'm not even worrying. That's why I know it's purposed for me to slow down. It was purposed for me for this huge transformation in life I had to go through. It was, it was necessary for me to have this time to myself because... 
Um, this transformation required all my attention or I was going to miss something. So I had to sit down for a minute and, and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So be okay with taking a break and pulling yourself, like going inward and discovering peace. Because that's what I've been trying to be on. So, I guess that's about it. Y'all have a nice evening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching my videos. If you happen to run across this video and you like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate the likes, shares, and comments. And until next time. I'm going to try to hop on here tomorrow. I'm going to try to hop on here tomorrow even if I just get on here and run my mouth like I did today. Because today was about just getting on here. <laughs> today was about just getting on here saying anything. Because I feel like sometimes I be trying too hard to think of a topic or something. Or I be trying too hard to um, make excuses or some fluckery shit. So uh, today I was just like, turn on the camera and talk forget it no matter what you say and run it back and hopefully it makes sense so okay i'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow okay i'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow bye